Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to be showing you guys a great way to clean a large amount of golf balls for very cheap, very simple, and very fast. So I know this is kind of a, a departure from the type of videos I usually do, uh, but this still is kind of in the realm of things outdoors, and I wanted to kind of share this out anyways, so I'll try to make this quick. But um, yeah, I have a lot of golf balls here, as you can see, dirty golf balls. Uh, I collected these from a closed-down golf course back during the COVID lockdown. I had nothing else to do, so I just went and uh, collected some golf balls from an old golf course. So the majority of these came from land under brush in bushes, but some of these came from the water too. And this golf course was in operation for 60 years, I believe. So some of these golf balls might be pretty old. Um, but I'm going to see how clean I can get these here. And uh, I already know how clean I can get them because I have an example of what they could look like up here. Uh, I had two buckets. That is the dirty bucket on the ground. And then what you see up there in the sink, those are the ones that I already did. Now, I'm not promising you that you're going to be able to get them to brand new quality. Not every golf ball came out this clean. This little pile over here, these are the ones that I could not get clean with this method. Um, maybe with a more severe method I could get them clean, but that would probably also take off any paint they have on them. And I suspect a lot of the ones in this pile were the ones that were sitting in water, sitting in a pile of mud underwater for a decade or two at least. So some of these just aren't going to get clean. Uh, but you can see it's a good proportion here of the clean ones versus the not clean ones. And then I did make a small pile of ones that were damaged that I am just going to throw away. So definitely something to look out for when you're doing this. You might find some that were kind of sliced into or cut open. Uh, maybe they bounced off a rock or something. So those are the three little piles I got going on here. But this method is super cheap. Um, if you already have a 5-gallon bucket with a lid, then this is only going to cost you $15. If you don't have a 5-gallon bucket with a lid, uh, that's only an additional $7, putting this total project at $22. And that's working under the assumption that you have a drill, corded or cordless, and a little bit of dish soap. So this little contraption right here, this is pretty much all there is to it. I have a drill bit brush that cost me $8 on Amazon. And then I have a drill bit extender that cost me about $7 on Amazon. And those two things together, that makes this toilet cleaner looking uh, long brush that you're going to be using and attaching to your drill to clean your golf balls. And then, like I said, all you need pretty much after that is a little bit of dish soap, a bucket with a lid, some water, and some dirty golf balls. And one more thing I forgot to mention, with the lid of the bucket, you're going to want to make a small hole in the top center of the lid, about maybe an inch and a half or two inches wide. Doesn't need to be anything specific, doesn't need to be a perfect circle. I used a hole saw to do it. You could honestly use a knife, you could use a box cutter, whatever you can get to cut through the top of that bucket and make a small hole. Um, and then what you're going to do is you're going to fill the bucket maybe one-fourth full of dirty golf balls, just barely cover them in water so that they're fully covered, and then take maybe a half a teaspoon, a quarter of a teaspoon of dish soap and swish it around in there so that it gets into the water. Don't go overboard on the dish soap. A little goes a long way. If you put in too much, once you start this process, it'll bubble up like crazy and fill your entire bucket with uh, soapy bubbles. So once you have that all set up, what you're going to do is you're going to push your little cleaning brush into the golf balls, and then you're going to secure the lid on top of the bucket, and you're going to put that brush, uh, the drill bit, the drill bit extender through the hole that you've made in the top of the uh, lid, and you're going to secure that lid onto the bucket. And then you're just going to attach your drill to the end of that drill bit extender and you're going to start drilling away. And what this is going to do is that brush is going to start spinning and brushing off as many golf balls as it can touch. I like to do five minutes for each quarter bucket that I fill with golf balls and you want to swish it around in there. Don't just let it sit in one spot. Go all around, try to hit as many golf balls as you can, keep it moving. I like to go uh, in circular motions, kind of move it around in irregular ways to hit as many golf balls and keep them moving around in there uh, so that new golf balls are constantly touching the brush. I might go up and down a little bit to try to get the ones in the bottom and the top. Uh, the idea is to just keep moving around with that brush and do it for at least five minutes is what I usually do it for for each batch. So once that five minutes is up, it's going to be a soapy mess in there. You won't even be able to see the balls under the soap, and you're just going to pour them out, pour them out into a sink, or maybe you have some other bucket with holes in the bottom that you can kind of use as a strainer, and you're just going to pour them out, and you are going to rinse them off with some water and see the results. 
From there, I like to kind of just sort through them and make the piles like I showed you, the damaged balls, the ones that just aren't going to get clean, and then the ones that I do feel were cleaned adequately. And then sometimes what I'll do is I'll take all the ones that just didn't get clean, and I might send them one more time through. Maybe they just didn't get touched by the brush for some reason. Uh, so I'll send all those ones that just didn't get cleaned uh, through the whole bucket process one more time, and maybe I'll even go a little longer on that batch. Maybe I'll go... 10 minutes if I'm really feeling up to it. Um, and from there, maybe I'll have a couple more that actually did get clean. I find that a lot of them, you know, don't get cleaned the second time around either because they just are really, really stained at that point. It's not going to come off, but it's, it's worth a try if you want to try to get some of those really tough ones cleaned. And then for the ones I just can't clean, I'll just give them to friends or use them for driving practice or something like that. But yeah, you can find some pretty cool stuff this way too when you're uh, golf ball hunting on a golf course, especially an old one that is closed down. Uh, I found some really old golf balls. I saw a lot of cool promotional golf balls. My favorite one was a Taco Bell golf ball that I found out there. Not sure what specific scenario Taco Bell was giving away golf balls, but yeah, you can find some cool stuff doing this. But this is the best way that I've found out of the different methods that I've looked into to clean large amounts of golf balls quickly and cheaply. And like I said, I'll put the links to those products in the video description. And if you guys found this helpful in any way, hit that like button. And as always, thank you for watching.